Hello everyone, I'm Ozbaka Hooker and today I'm going to teach you a nut that I use with my snakeheads here in Thailand. Now a lot of times when you're fishing something like this, a hollow body frog, the way you set the hook on these things is that you must allow for the fish to take the frog all the way in and then you gotta wait for it to take the frog into its mouth before you set the hook. The problem with that is that you have a frog here and the line is over here and you're dealing with a fish that has teeth that could chop through bone, scales, and flesh. A regular line's not gonna hold out into it. It's just gonna get cut up. So a lot of people would apply something like maybe a fluorocarbon leader or a wire trace of some sort. Now, as for me, I don't like the hardness of a fluorocarbon line, especially something at 60 to 80 pounds, whereas also a wire trace, uh, sometimes it can get a little hard unless you get like the really thin titanium style ones, which aren't exactly the easiest things to find. So I've developed, I learned a new style of knot tying from my friend Kevin Lee. I give him full credit for this. He told me how to do this knot, but I've developed it by replacing his half hitch endings with a, a simple granny knot. But to do that, let me teach you how to do what I like to call the Bangkok hooker twist. This is my solution for hollow body frog fishing with uh, snakeheads or other sharp tooth freshwater species that would attack a hollow body frog. So begin by taking 50 pound line. This would be the line that is on your reel. You take about maybe you know, a foot, so about 30 centimeters of line over here. Fold that over, maybe no, no, sorry, not 30, a little more than that. I'd say about 45 centimeters, so a foot and a half a line. Fold that together like so. And once it's folded, you do a spider hitch. So you take your line right at the tag end, do a little loop, make sure your line's still folded. With that loop over there, you wrap this line around your fingers three times. So one, two, three, oops, three, and then you put the loop back in. See that? You thread, thread the tag loop with the loop that you are pinching on your fingers right there. And once you do that, you pull that out, bump, 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 bump. All right, so you got yourself a nice solid knot over here. And with this, you've created a little loop here. So now that's folded up, that's 100 pounds breaking strength. That's, that's 50 pounds, together they're 100 pounds. But let's double that up. But first, we gotta do the twist. So with a finger over here, pinching the knot over here, twist. And we gotta twist something about 100 to 120 times. So long as you get this loop over here, see that? Get that loop over here to be nice and tight and small. So just keep twisting. This may take a while, so I'm gonna fast forward through this. But you get the idea. You keep twisting till it's too tight, or about 100 to 120 times. So now that is really nice and tight. You take your finger like this, take your thumb, right in the middle or around, you know, 40 to 45 percent of the distance from here to here. Go fold it over and pinch. See, you fold it over and you pinch right there. Now see that? The line's going to automatically start to twist on itself. You help it out a little more, just twist it, twist it, and twist it. And there you go. Finish this off over here by locking it down with a granny knot. That's it. A little simple granny knot. Put it in. And there you have it. All you gotta do now is trim the tags. Let's trim the excess. And voila, 50 pound line, 100 pound gap over here, and 200 pound breaking strain right there. Now to use it, let's take a frog, slide it in, open the twist again, 
loop it over the frog and just pull it tight and there you have it folks snakehead's gonna take that lure into its mouth like so snakehead's gonna take the lure in teeth gonna go over and touch the line but the line's at 200 pound breaking strain it's not going to get cut easily and all the gaps inside are going to open up to allow the teeth to go through so you're going to have a line that doesn't break and a frog that's firmly secured right inside the upper jaw of your fish yeah. also this this would not be you know in a spool it would be on a reel somewhere so thank you for watching uh, I'm Ozbeka Hooker and tight lines <laughs>